Hi everybody, welcome to Scuba Diving Magazine and welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A where I, Mark, a former diving instructor, do my very best to answer your scuba diving questions. If you do have any scuba diving questions, then pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. And if you use the Ask Mark hashtag in your comment, it gets yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video. But I do actually type out an answer in the comment section as soon as I see it, so that you do get an answer within a day or two and you don't have to wait for the whole video to come out. But today I'm answering a question from Andrew McClish about wetsuits and multiple dives. So Andrew asks, hey Mark, the family is taking a seven day trip to a tropic location and it's gonna be humid. Uh, we're using three mil wetsuits and we'll be diving five days. What are your suggestions so we're not having to put a wet wetsuit on every morning? Thanks for the help. Inside out, uh, hang the suit with the widest hanger that you can find, somewhere windy, preferably, and if there's a rack of hangers with lots of wetsuits on them, try and go at the front or the back. Wetsuits in the middle are gonna stay in a damp place between wet wetsuits. So leaving them in the sun is okay for short periods, but it can damage the wetsuit long-term. Uh, so it's best to hang it in the shade, but yeah, inside out. Doesn't matter if the outside of the wetsuit is dry because that's not touching your skin. So as soon as you get out, flip it inside out, pull the sleeves out, and then hang it up somewhere to uh, to dry. Most dive boats, if it's like a day boat or even a, a live board, they have like a, a rack of coat hangers that you can hang your wetsuit on. You'll notice that the dive guides usually put it on the uh, the dive ladder at the, uh, the back of the boat. And um, so that's usually reserved because it's a nice windy area um, and that dries off the, uh, the suit. But you'll notice that it's inside out because that's the bit that's actually touching your skin. Um, so that's my, my main one. Um, wetsuits, yeah, typically in a, in a windy area, but not in a, a sun baking area because the sun can really deteriorate your wetsuit and if it's your own wetsuit then you're just gonna it's just gonna age too quickly so it's best to do it somewhere shady but somewhere with a nice breeze to uh, to dry it and um and yeah inside out really um it's nice if you can wash it out but it's not essential um typically my usual routine is if it's like a middle day, say day one or day two, go for the dive, you come out, wetsuit comes off or BCD comes off and then wetsuit comes off. Um, that gets turned inside out, you hang it up, try and get it on yeah, one of the, the outer um, coat hangers just so that one side is always exposed to, uh, to fresh air um, as opposed to in the middle because then it all just gets kind of clammy. And, um, and then for the next dive, yeah, you can put it on and it's nice and fresh. When it comes to the final dive, take it off, flush it with uh, with fresh water. Uh, a lot of dive boats have like a little hose at the back to be able to uh, to wash it. If not, take it to a shower and uh, and give it a good wash. Hang it up again, depending on how much time. You should have a decent amount of time just so that you're not um, like going on a dive and then the next day you're on an aeroplane, uh, especially if you're diving five days, you should wait uh, a decent amount of time. You've got all of that time to allow it to drip dry and dry as much as possible. Um, just check back on it from time to time. If it's dry on the inside, flip it inside out again or outside in and um, no, the, the right way around uh, and then dry that as well. So you're not carrying any water weight home with you in your baggage allowance. Um, but yeah, try and do it out of direct sunlight. If you're on a time limit and you really got to dry it off, yeah, in the sun is perfectly fine, but just be, be aware that it's going to discolor it and it can like harden and damage it um, prematurely. So, um, so out of the sun is better. <laughs> And then once you get home, uh, wetsuit shampoo and, uh, and much the same with more fresh water uh, because wetsuits do get quite stinky um, if you don't look after them um, because all of the like body oils and stuff and all the, uh, the like salt water and the critters find their way in. Uh, yeah, you really do have to, uh, to keep your dry, uh, sorry, your wetsuit nice and clean. So wetsuit shampoo, 
you can use like household detergent uh, it is pretty good to um, uh, to clean a lot of the nasties stop the the fungus and stuff from uh, from growing so get it home bathtub or outside tub if you've got something um, bit of uh, detergent to uh, clean it give it a good uh, like quick scrub hang it up outside somewhere nice and windy so it can drip dry not in direct sunlight to, uh, to protect it and um, and yeah that's that's the best thing but yeah multiple day diving uh, turn it inside out is the best tip that I ever learned because yeah you want the bit that's touching your skin to dry off first there's no point in like having the outside dry because that's going to get wet pretty quickly and it's not the bit that's touching your skin the actual bit that's touching your skin is the cold and clammy wet bit so inside out is the uh, the best tip and at either end of the uh, the rack if you can uh, any other questions pop them down in the comment section underneath this video use the rsmark hashtag to get featured in an up and coming video thank you for watching everybody and of course safe diving